We're going to take a look at uh, managing the sheet tabs within our Excel worksheet, how you can add additional tabs, and how you can separate or segregate data among the multiple sheet tabs within a single Excel file for the purpose of better arranging your information, particularly when you have a lot of information to display. We're going to use this uh, our sample worksheet for ABC Company, the compensation and bonus worksheet here in this uh, example. Now, the standard behavior for Excel is when you open up a new Excel file, you will automatically receive three sheets at the lower left-hand corner of the screen. You can always set up your Excel options to give you fewer or more sheets, but it's also very easy to add sheets as you go along. Uh, just to show you where this setting is, if you go up to the Microsoft Office button at the upper left-hand corner of your screen, you come down and click on the Excel Options button. On the popular screen here, in the middle section where it says when creating new workbooks you'll see a little option for include this many sheets and you'll see it says three there you can increase or decrease the number by clicking on the the upward or downward pointing arrows to change that number and that will apply to your entire Excel program meaning if you change the number here every time you open up a new Excel file you'll have as many sheets automatically appear as you indicate here Three is fine because, as we'll see, it's very easy to add or remove sheets as needed within the actual workbook file. All right, now in this sheet, say what we'd like to do is we would like to create tabs here that correspond to each of the departments in our spreadsheet. So in other words, I'd like to have one tab for the accounting department and accounting employee records, one tab for HR, the HR department and HR employee records, another one for IT, another one for marketing, and another one for R&D. got a few different ways of doing this. Uh, first I'm going to do is I'm going to make this first sheet the accounting tab. And if I want to give the sheet a name, I come down to where the sheet is, I double click on it, I can then type in the new name for my tab. Now you have about 30, 31 characters you can use for the name of a tab. But keep in mind, if you're going to have many tabs, you have limited space across the bottom and practically unlimited in terms of the number of tabs you add. But at a certain point, you're going to not see all of your tabs. Then you're going to have to use these little navigation controls at the left to click from tab to tab to review the details. So you ideally want to keep the name relatively short. You can abbreviate if you'd like, but don't make it a very lengthy title. Once we've added the tab name, you can hit the Enter key or click back on your worksheet, and that will then take effect for that tab. Now, my Sheet 2 and Sheet 3 are blank because those were given to me automatically, and I have not added or entered any data into them. If I want to add an additional worksheet tab, I have a little button I can click on, Insert Worksheet. If I click there, it gives me a new sheet, and as Often as I click there, I will receive new sheet tabs. And it just gives you generic numbered sheet tabs that you can always uh, give them meaningful names. To eliminate or get rid of a sheet tab that you don't like, you can click right click on that tab. You have a list of options here, but you'll see among those options is delete. Click on delete, the tab is gone. I go to sheet four, click on delete, the tab is gone. Right click on sheet one, click delete, the sheet is gone. Sheet three as well, sheet two, delete. Okay, now I just have my accounting sheet. Now what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna use a method of copying this sheet to duplicate the data onto a series of tabs that I'll give the names for the corresponding departments. And then after I duplicate the data, I'm gonna delete the department information that I don't want. So. How you do that is you can right click on the tab. I'm right clicking on my accounting tab. I have the option to move or copy. Now move or copy, I'm going to want to copy and make sure if you want to copy it because you can copy an existing sheet elsewhere in the same Excel file or to an entirely different Excel file. But I'm going to want to copy it. I click on create a copy. It's going to create a copy of the existing sheet and I'm going to say move to end because I can either place it before the existing sheet that appears here in the list or I can click on move to end. I say OK and that gives me a duplicate tab 
It took the same name, but since it's the second version of that tab, it gave me the number two there. That's unimportant because my second tab is really going to be HR. So I can double click on that tab and I might have to actually click and drag across that title and I'm just going to type in HR. All right. All right, now what I'm going to do on my HR tab is I'm going to delete all the data that doesn't apply to HR. And I just want my HR employees on this tab, so I'm going to highlight and delete everything else. I'm going to select both row 3 and row 4. I'm going to right click and I'm going to delete those. All right, so now I have my HR employees only on the HR tab. Accounting still has everything because I'm going to use this sheet to create the others. I'm then going to delete everything on accounting other than accounting employees. All right, so I can right click again on accounting. I can say move or copy. Make sure you check off create a copy. You now see both your accounting and your HR sheets here, but I want to move this copy of this sheet to the end again. Okay, now there's another sheet tab. I can double click on the name and my next tab is going to be IT. Select or type in IT. You know, click in the background. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete everything except for my IT employee records. And I'm going to select rows 3, 4, 5, and 6. Right click, choose delete. And now I have my IT employees on the IT tab. All right, HR is done, IT is done. Go back to accounting. My next tab is going to be marketing. So now you start to get the, the flow here. This is one of several ways to do it. Right click on the accounting tab. I'm going to move our copy again. I'm going to say create a copy. And then I'm going to say move to end. OK. All right, I'm going to double click to highlight that name. I'm going to type in the actual name I want this new tab to be. There's my marketing tab. And I am going to get rid of everyone's information here except for my three marketing employees. And I'm going to select rows three through eight, right click on them, select delete from the menu, and there's my marketing folks. Go back to my accounting tab. Last tab would be R&D. Right click on the accounting tab, move our copy. I'm going to say create a copy. I'm going to say move to end. OK. Double click the name. Type in R and D. I'm going to then select everyone but my two R and D employees. I'm going to then click on the rows 3 through 11, right click, delete. There's my R and D folks. Now I can come back to accounting. I was using this as my template. Now I don't need the remaining employees because they've already been moved to their corresponding tabs. I'm going to highlight to select and then delete. And now I have one tab for each department in my organization. Assuming that the data on these sheets will continue to grow, I then have it stored separately in the corresponding tab. Something else you can do is you can also assign tab colors. If that helps you visually, you can right click on a given tab. You have an option there for tab color. You have a whole series of tabs. If you want to color coordinate it by department, you can click the color you'd like to use. And then when the tab is not selected, you'll see the corresponding color. So in this instance, you'll say, okay, the accounting tab has that reddish hue. If I want to give HR a color, I right click on the HR tab, come up to tab color, I'm going to select a green shade, IT tab, I can right click on that, tab color, I can give that a blue shade and so on. So then you have a color, a uh, form of color coordination here. I can continue with marketing and R&D. Alright, so there we have our tabs. They're color coded, color coordinated. Now if you des decided that you wanted to change the order in which the tabs occurred in your workbook, you can click on a tab, hold the left mouse button in, you'll see as you do so the cursor picks up a little page or that sheet in the form of a little page or a sheet and as you roll the mouse to the right, you see a little black downward pointing triangle that will show you where that tab will go when you release the mouse. Release the mouse when that little black triangle appears where you want that sheet to be re repositioned to, and there you go. If I want to bring it back again, I click on the sheet, drag over, let it go. So it's very easy to change the order in which the sheets occur. 
Now, if you have more sheets than can be displayed across the bottom of your Excel file, you then need to use the navigational controls here. And you have two little sets of arrows. The inner set will take you one tab at the time to the right or to the left. And the outer arrows will take you to the very last tab or the very first tab. And these controls come into play when you have too many sheets for Excel to display for you at the bottom of your screen. All right, there are many other uh, uses you can have for creating multiple sheets. You can use it for calculations. You can run calculations from one sheet to another, have all the results appear in a summary page. Uh, we may talk about some of those other uses a little bit later.